I am interested in this idea of reobjectification. The idea is looking at one piece, maybe that's made out of steel in the world of industrial objects out there, for example, this iron kettle kind of form, and then trying to translate that into a soft, pliable medium that is clay, and then express something through that. In graduate school, what was one of the most memorable things about it for me was trying to decide. I felt like I had to make a decision. Was I a potter? Was I a sculptor? Was I making vessel with a V? Was I making, you know, an object? Was I, you know, not really sure. And I think that a lot of students think that they need to define that and then stick with one thing. And that for me was the big mis misconception. misconception is that you can actually do both. So. Uh, with my chemistry and physics background, I find that ceramics actually brings the things that I studied into physical being. And I can, I can actually go into the lab, put on my lab coat, get my triple beam balance out, and I can create a glaze out of these dusty products that will then endure time, you know, outlast all the things that we throw into the garbage. So that to me is rewarding. So I'm making a lid right now that, I, you know, this is kind of funny because I'm using this for the grenade teapot, but it's a lid that I, I made for sugar bowls originally. So it's sweet and sugary right to the grenade. But it's what I call <laughs> the no-knob lid where um, I don't like a lot of flowery, fussy little details in my work. I like my work to be really clean and kind of simplified in the way of how much information is there. I want the information to be just what it needs, you know, to get the point across, but not much more. And I always found that when I'm making pottery, the, the knob or the finial or whatever you want to call that little thing that goes on top kind of haunted me, you know, and I'd look at Chinese pots where they'd have a dragon carved as the knob and that kind of thing was amazing, but try doing one of those, you know, or just, you know, most people make these really boring average knobs that all look like, you know, the throwing process dictated how the knob looks. So uh, one of my earlier teachers, Chris Staley, makes an amazing lid for a teapot that, you know, I sort of adopted in, as my own later and changed it around a little. And he was kind enough to tell me once he never noticed <laughs> that I took that idea from him. But the idea being that you can get your finger in and lift it out of there without a knob. And it's not hollow through so your sugar wouldn't kind of get all crunchy and moist, but it actually is sealed off. And this is the same thing. It's, it's the same lid I used for my sugar bowl, only littler. Uh, and it gets a little trim job underneath. But the idea is it's kind of like a little flying saucer, has a little mysterious space inside where there could be a little alien hiding and uh, driving this machine.